Hi, this is Dale with Computer Aftercare again. Tonight, I'm going to show you how to access Microsoft Word for free using Microsoft Office Online. Well, Microsoft Office Online is a free online app used to create, edit, and store, and share Microsoft documents such as Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and OneNote. It also includes an online calendar and contacts manager, as well as being able to send and receive email using Outlook Webmail. Now, there's no software to install because Office Online works in your web browser, such as Internet Explorer, which I'll pull up here, Firefox, or Chrome at office.live.com. So you must have an active internet connection. And I'll provide the link in the description below this video. Now, to use Office Online, you must also have a Microsoft account, which is free. Now, if you already use Microsoft services such as Outlook.com or Xbox Live, you can sign on using the same email and password you use for those accounts. Otherwise, you can create a new account with any email address you have access to. So let's get started by showing you Office Online using my free account I already have set up. So here we are at office.live.com. And you can see the tiles here. And we're going to go ahead and sign in. Now I have an account already. I'll use my account. And now we get to the sign in screen and you'll need to put your password in as well. And you can choose to store the password for your browser if you want down here. Okay, so one neat feature about Office Online is that you don't have to save your documents manually as they're automatically saved for you using Microsoft OneDrive, formerly known as SkyDrive. You'll see that here. That's all part of your account there. Now, I will point out that using these free online versions, such as Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, that the ribbon bar does not have all the features that the paid versions do. But they're still quite robust for what most people use them for anyway. So let's go ahead and show you Microsoft Word. Okay, so I have Word open here. And as you can see, there's all kinds of templates here available to use. And over here, if you're just wanting to start a blank document, just click blank document. And if you've used Word before, you'll see the familiar looking blank Word screen with the ribbon here. Now, as I mentioned, the ribbon's not going to include all the features of its paid counterpart, but it's still pretty powerful. And all you have to do is just start typing, and it's automatically saved. You don't have to go up here and click File and Save, because it's already saved for you. You just have to initially give it a name is all. And you can print it. You can share it and you can also download it to your hard drive and if you want to go and use one of the other Microsoft services just click this little tile icon there and you can go select one of the other ones like Excel and then here's all your templates that you can use for Excel and it goes on and on so forth for the other apps that it has built in as well one neat feature I also like is that you can save your documents as a PDF document for use with Adobe Reader as well. Anyway, once you get familiar using Office Online, you'll find that there are just hundreds of free templates to help you create flyers, brochures, calendars, resumes, budgets, invoices, school projects, photo albums, and many, many more types of documents. Just start poking around here, or uh, when you first get in, you'll see a templates menu up here in the toolbar and just get familiar with Office Online. So now, if you've ever had to have your computer repaired and you have a fresh installation, you can't find your CD or your product key, you don't have to worry about not being able to use Office until you can reload it because as long as you've got an internet connection, you'll still have access to most of the popular Office products for free online. Anyways, that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for using Computer Aftercare, and bye-bye.